My BFI player choice this week is a 1999 course celebre from agent provocateur Catherine Breyat, a film that pushed at the boundaries of what was then permissible in mainstream cinema and challenged age-old notions of pornography and the male gaze. Romance. Tu veux que je te domine? Tu veux m'attacher moi? Aujourd'hui, tu fais ce que tu veux. Non, je veux rien faire. Mais tu aimes bien que je t'attache. Oui, mais pas derrière le coude. La dernière fois, j'ai mis au moins 15 jours à récupérer complètement la main. Et derrière le coup d'un mois, j'ai encore senti un truc bizarre. Bah, ton âge, c'est pas normal, t'as des problèmes de circulation. Hein. A story of sexual frustration and discovery, Romance, also known as Romance X, centers on Caroline Ducey's Marie, a young woman living with her boyfriend who fails or refuses to satisfy her. Instead, Marie embarks on a series of encounters with other men, such as Paolo, played by hardcore star Rocco Sifredi, in a breakthrough dramatic role. Speaking to Linda Ruth Williams for Sight & Sound magazine at the time of Romance's original release, Breat explained that in her film, the images portray an idea and the characters experience emotion. That is the difference between it and pornography. And that difference has long been a central obsession for Breat, who made her screen debut in Bertolucci's Last Tango in Paris and whose 1976 feature Une Vraie Jeune Fille, adapted from her own novel Le Superay, was banned in several territories. After Romance, Breat would go on to helm the 2001 drama Amasur, which again presented problems for UK censors and its thematic companion piece, Sex is Comedy, a playfully self-referential work about the difficulties of filming the kind of intimate scenes for which Breyat had been famous. In 2004, she re-teamed with Rocco Sifredi for Anatomy of Hell, an angst-ridden work based on her novel, Ponocrati, featuring an infamous showdown with a garden hoe, really. Describing herself as a filmmaker, not a social worker, Breyat has remained a divisive presence in modern cinema, earning plaudits for movies like Bluebeard, gaining notoriety for her outspoken comments on Me Too and Harvey Weinstein, and being branded the most sadistic and downright evil director I have ever worked with by Last Mistress star Asia Argento. Devil or Angel, decide for yourself. Mm -hmm.